What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out and on today's episode we have the Nike Della Don in hand in the box as you can see a couple things on there a couple logos on the back so hopping right into it we are going to get a quick weight real quick this sneaker was very very light I'm going to say 12.2 for a size 8 12.5 so that's fairly light for a hoop shoe not too heavy not too light so hopping into it we're going to work our way from the top down to the bottom now the shoe is kind of complex it's one of more one it's one of the more complex sneakers that we've had on the channel um just because everything this sneaker has going on i thought they did a pretty good job on the design so heel slip in comfort i said the nike cosmic unity fly ease type design was probably one of the easiest sneakers to get on well, this definitely changed the game. Now, we're gonna start with the padding. The padding felt fairly fairly good. It wasn't too much, wasn't too little. Felt perfect, no issues with the padding on that. Now, this is where it gets a little complex. This right here, there really isn't a heel counter on the back. They have this bar right here, which I really did not care for if I'm gonna hoop in this consistently. Like, if I'm just wearing it to rock, yeah, it's not a big deal, but I like to have a nice TPU heel counter in the back or a carbon fiber heel counter in the back. So, but what this does is allow this to compress. So, when you do that and you take off this Velcro, this tongue right here has a flap of Velcro. You'll see Velcro down here. You could take this and attach it to that, and that's what you get. So anyone that's handicapped, disabled, has a, a real struggle of getting their sneakers on, you can leave these tied up just how they are and you can slip the sneaker on like this. So this is by far the easiest sneaker to get on your foot, like easiest basketball sneaker I have ever came across. I thought the Cosmic Unity would have been hard to beat and then they dropped something like this and they did a great design. If Elena Della Don was involved on this, she did an awesome job. Whoever designed the sneaker did an awesome job. Now, heel lockdown. Heel lockdown was awesome. Um, even without a TPU heel counter back there, it still felt great. It still felt comfortable. No issues with heel lockdown or heel slip and comfort, obviously. Now, onto the tongue. I didn't really care for the tongue. I thought it was a dope concept, and I, and I thought it was pretty cool. Like, you could see the ripples right there, and that was very comfortable, but there's no ports, and then it has this thin, like, like, you know, like a girl's, like, hoodie like that material that's what this is made of right here and that's what it feels like very thin that's not padded i know it looks padded and very plush but it isn't it's pretty thin for the most part but it still wasn't like very breathable like the tongue i really didn't care for the tongue much at all i thought the concept of how you could drop it down and stuff like that i thought they get an a plus for that effort i thought that was an amazing design touch and it's something unique you don't see a lot of unique things on sneakers lately this is one of the more unique sneakers i've had probably ever and i thought that touch was pretty dope but i just really didn't care for like the breathability factor on the tongue now down under the laces the laces were the high quality rope rope laces same laces that came in on the cosmic unity so if you wanted to do a like a lace swap or something like that no issues whatsoever they are very nice no issues with laces whatsoever but they will fray and and i'm telling you that because to get this locked down you have to do this pull this back and then you still have to tie the shoe a lot of times the laces will get up in this and we all know laces and velcro it just doesn't match now if you're not hooping you're just rocking them aesthetically you could just do that slip it on you have no or no worries but as a hooper you do have to get into the laces and tie it down it was pinched very bad when i pulled them out of the box right here i had to go through undo all the laces and it kind of was a pain in the ass but at the end of the day i only had to do it once and then that kind of fit to my foot and it wasn't that big of an issue now down on the support and lockdown support and lockdown was phenomenal i had no issues whatsoever this piece right here you can see over here comes up very high and it doesn't rub it doesn't rub the like the pinky toe or anything like that and then this check right here is also there for added support and stability so when it comes to support and lockdown on this i thought they killed it did an awesome job no issues with the support and lockdown on the elena della don sneaker so on the sizing and fit people are like oh it's a women's shoe do i have to worry about size if you get on nike.com or you get it somewhere else it tells you 8m and then it'll tell you like a nine and a half in women's it kind of tells you and explains it so it's like not like you don't have to like do the math or anything like that i like the way that nike did that so it wasn't confusing i didn't want to order an eight get an eight and girls have to send it back get another pair or something like that 
So I like the way that Nike did that. It ran true to size. It felt great on foot. Um, uh, the upper was pretty comfortable for the most part, so no issues with that. Now, don't get me wrong. This sneaker looked very, very dope, but at the end of the day, the materials were kind of trash. They got all kinds of stuff going on in this shoe, which I like if, if it's more like high end. Like the synthetic hits right through here, I like that. I like this kind of this mesh right here. It kind of feels like mesh, but it almost feels kind of like a hoodie material. And then they had this awful, awful pleatherish feeling stuff on this side, and that wraps around to the back and through here up onto the collar, the Velcro collar. It just wasn't very high quality material. And then the sneaker is only $120, so you really can't expect it to be that high quality of material. But at the end of the day, I think the sneaker deserved a little bit better materials than this. So now, when I seen this sneaker on the traction, I was like, oh man, that, that reminds me kind of of like a Cosmic Unity and the KD-15 combined was garbage. Like, it was awful. I did not... Like, it, it felt nice and soft, and I didn't try it in my house. I don't really like to do that because shoes seem to pick up so much dust when you wear them in the house. Then you take them to the court if you just try one on, then you got one slipping a little more than the other. So I like to put them on both at the court, and it, it was just awful. Um, the gym I was in was a little bit dusty, but like I've worn my Zions there, dusty. Uh, the morning before, I wore my LeBron 18s for the individual workouts we run. I had my LeBron 18 lows on and did not slip one time. On this, you can see the footage. I will play it just so you guys know I'm not like pulling your tail or nothing like that. This thing slips and I would not advise anyone to buy this sneaker for basketball. Now, if it plays well on your court, um, I tried to break this in. I played in it several days and it just did not break in and it just sucked every single time. I had to wipe every single every single up and down on the court. It just was not good traction at all. And I thought the traction looked super fire. I thought this sneaker was going to be like definitely an underrated sneaker. I thought the sneaker was going to be better than like, like a lot of different shoes right now. The looks, I love the way it looks, but the cushion, the materials, just just didn't cut it for me now down onto cushion the cushion wasn't good either and i'm thinking how can this cushion not be good at first i seen it had air strobel so i was thinking oh okay it has air strobel probably in the back half of the shoe like the i don't think i got them in here the zion 2s the zion 2 was split had a zoom up front and this in the back this you just couldn't even feel it my cushion in the zions and this has crazy freaking hard phylon all the way through it the cushioning in them Zions with the same unit was phenomenal. Now, I felt the cushioning in the Zions. The PSI was definitely, definitely lower. The PG5s also had the same cushioning as this in it, and the PG5s felt amazing. So, I don't know if it was just the PSI was way too much in this, because I even peeled up the insole, which was a pain in the ass, by the way. Like, I don't advise you to do that. Just take my word for it. There is... A air strobel unit underneath this. I keep wanting to say air zoom strobel, but it's an air strobel unit, and it just, you can't feel it. Like I don't know if it's the insole, I don't, and it, it can't be the insole because if the insole was that good, it would have still felt comfortable on foot. I did feel really close to the floor, so if anybody's wondering, like how does this play? Does it feel up high? Does it feel down low? It felt fairly low to the floor, but the cushioning just sucked. Uh, it just was not good. A lot of things about the sneaker su sucked. I wanted to love the sneaker. It, it was a WNBA chick. She's a baller. Uh, I've watched a lot of her videos and I've watched a lot of her like highlights. She's a beast. So I was rooting for her. I wanted this sneaker to be great. I just don't know if it's the compound. I don't know if this is maybe like their recycled colorway because you get a lot of that like you get a lot of that like a uh, cosmic unity vibes off it, like save the planet type vibes off this sneaker. So I don't know if it's that. That's killing it. Maybe another model will have better traction. I'm not going to find out. If y'all order a different model, please come back and let me know if it does have better traction. On the recommendations, no, I would not recommend this to anybody hooping. Like, if you just want to play outside and have a pretty dope looking aesthetic shoe, yeah, go ahead and get it. Um, the rubber is soft though on the bottom. That's what kind of made me think like, hey, this this might be, might have, this might not, this might have nice traction. It didn't. Um, but yeah, aesthetic wise, I love this sneaker. I'd rock this sneaker all day. Throw some some joggers on, throw a hoodie on, and rock these. I, I think they look dope. The designer did a great job with all the touches he did. And, and you would think this might make it 
like not as strong as another shoe, but it feels great like on the Velcro and all that. But at the end of the day, the Velcro is eventually going to wear, the sneaker is going to wear down, but the sneaker materials will definitely wear down before the Velcro wears down. So I guess that's good news, but bad news because I don't even think you could play with these a whole summer outside. These are getting tore up. There's no way these last outside. So I don't even think I'd recommend them for you guys to play outside, even though they're cheap. I just, if you like them, get them to rock. If not, I just wouldn't play serious hoops in them uh i thought maybe the strobel needed to be broken it didn't it just the psi i think was just too hard on it you could not really feel the cushioning she might prefer that so maybe at the end of the day like it ain't about me she's it's her, about her you know but i i feel like at the end of the day the consumer you got to also play into the mind of the consumer like does the consumer want comfort do they want like what do they want like and i don't think they gave it to us with this sneaker now the other models could be different so let's hope for nike's sake and her sake that they are a little bit different like this sneaker super dope though like the tag on it everything i'd i'm gonna leave that on there i think it, the way they did the check the colorway is sick but just went and play basketball in it so i appreciate you guys coming through and we'll catch you on the next episode of sold out peace